I'm Dan Simon at the San Francisco headquarters of Leap Motion, a company that is gaining a lot of buzz for its revolutionary new device to control a computer. So the Leap is a, a small device that uh, sits on a user's desk and creates a 3D interaction space around their desk where they can control their computer with their hands and fingers in 3D space. So the goal is to basically let people control their computers like we interact with the real world by reaching in and grabbing things. Show us what you got here. Sure. Uh, we should start with something simple, just um, some like 2D drawing. And you can see it's very, very fast and responsive. We've never seen a product like this before. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, some people say it's sort of like alien technology. And a lot of people talk about this being like Minority Report. Yeah. Oh, yeah, certainly. Uh, or, some, or Iron Man is another one that people like to talk about. Here I'm sort of you know, doing very, very small motions and uh, sort of doing things very, very accurately, very, very quickly. You can see there's no delay between sort of my, what's, what's happening in the air and what's going on on the screen. One of the things to notice here is that we're mapping a very small area to a very large area. So I'm really only moving like an inch or two, but I'm covering the entire screen. And, uh, you know, that, that, of course, that's, that's contrary to what you might do otherwise, which is sort of lean forward over your desk and do very large motions in the air on a very large touchscreen, which uh, to some extent is not practical beyond a certain size. You think gaming will be a big component of the Leap? I think it's, uh, it's definitely a, a, a component of the Leap, but, uh, you know, people, there's a lot of other things you can do with your computer that are sort of, you know, real interesting things, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, browsing maps or molding a piece of, you know, clay or you know, being able to compose music or browse the internet. I think uh, uh, just in that, you know, the iPad is used for many things. I think this can be used for many different things. One of the, the things that we're really uh, passionate about is sort of these sort of next generation applications where you're sort of reaching into a virtual world and sort of grabbing things and moving around through three-dimensional space. So it'll be like social network data, and I'm able to sort of move around in a very, you know, simple, natural way. So will this work with a lot of existing software, or will you have to have developers write a bunch of new software to take advantage of the Leap. So out of the box, the Leap provides a great experience for controlling Windows 8 and Mac OS. Uh, so you can plug in your Leap and immediately you can do things like pinch to zoom or scrolling up or down or selecting basically all the things that people want to do with touch screens, but better because you don't have to lean forward uncomfortably and touch the screen and it's more accurate and more responsive. But we also have uh, tens of thousands of developers working on amazing content that's being built from the ground up for Leap. Uh, and that ranges the gamut from uh, casual games like a uh, version of Django where the user pulls blocks out with their hands to, uh, on the other extreme side, things for professional musicians and professional engineers.